Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Habakkuk Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the men, unto the prophets, the servants that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say, Shalom. The Bible is an exclusive book, and that's the misconception that a lot of people get when they pick up our book. All right, this is all, it's a book for only us individual people. It's not for everyone, and, and that's what Christianity, that's the Catholic Church pushes that it's for everyone. All right, uh, John 3 and 16, it's not for everyone. It's not a Bible for, it's not, excuse me, not a book for everyone. It's It, it has ex exclusive instructions, law, sections, commandments, the history, the prophecy of a specific people, a certain sect of people, all right? And that's the Israelites, all right, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Israelites that are scattered, the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst these heathen nations. The book is for us and us only. Okay, it tells, you know, the, 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 the Bible can tell tell you the condition of our people in, in any time in history. Okay? It's a lot key. In any time in history. All right. The other these other heathen nations, they have their books, but they're not the Bible. Okay? They're not their books weren't inspired by the creator of, of the heaven and earth, all right, of, of the universe. All right, by the most high Yahweh. All right, that's the that's the that's the difference. All right, all these other you know the Moabites, the Ammonites, the, all these other heathen nations have their their books. All right, which which tells their history, which tells you know uh, of their gods and all that you know BS. All right, but we have ours. Okay, and 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 and, it, and it's exclusive to us. All right, I pulled up the word exclusive in the dictionary. It says excluding or admitting other things. Here's the here's the, the main point right here. The, the second one. Restricted or limited to persons, group, or area concerned. All right. It's limited to a specific persons or persons. All right. Which is in you, which is you Israelites. All right. Um, it says an item or story published. Uh no, no, that's not that's not that's going into something else. But restricted or limited to the pers to the person, group, or area concerned. And that group or that people is you Israelites. All right, that's who the Bible is exclusive to and, and you, to you only. All right, you have these Christians out there, especially the Edomites. All right, if it was, you know, you don't see the you don't see these other heathens making an uproar about the Hebrew Israelites. You see mainly Edomite Christians. All right, you see some some J Christian pastors because they see the uh, they see people leaving Christianity, and when people begin to leave the Christian church, that puts a dent in their pockets, and that's the only reason they're concerned. They're not concerned about the flock and waking you Israelites up. They're concerned about their pockets. But they, uh, over the years, over the decades, over the centuries, Edomites, even our own people, all right, but mainly Esau has used our book against us, all right, has deceived us, okay? But the truth is being manifest in, the, in these last days, all right? And the, and the truth of our book and who is specifically for, the tr that truth is coming out also. All right, let me grab a quick, quick scripture. Um... Um, this is Second Ezra six, and um, verse twenty twenty seven. And evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. All right, and our people have been deceived for so long that the Bible is for everyone. All right, our Lord Yahweh Shai looks like a so called white man. The the Most High. Is looks like a so-called white man. That that's the deception. All right, that came along uh, during the Renaissance period through iconoclasm. All right, where they rewrote, you know, began to not just rewrite books in the history, but um, uh, defame the images or the, the frescoes and the um, they destroyed them. The frescoes, the images of 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 the which gave you the true depiction of what the Most High, the Israel, the Israelites, the prophets, okay, the Lord looked like. OK, and that's 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 the first um, that's one of the first things you can do to deceive a people change the images. OK, like if you someone 
came in your house and took all the pictures of you down. All right, say you're say you're a so-called black man, and someone came in your house and took all the images of you down and put up images of Edomites in their in your house. All right, someone walks into your house, they're gonna think that's an Edomite house. So how much more they did to the Israelites? They took all the images down, okay, and they took all the images down that were you know throughout the um, the dark ages. Our dark ages destroyed them, okay, and put up their images and and and. And, you know, you had, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, Paint the Sistine Chapel and all that shit. All right, that, that's all, that's all uh, a, a lie. That's all deceit. But it's being put out in these last days. Verse uh, 28, and as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruits, shall be declared. And that's what you see taking place. The Bible, our book, is being declared. The truth is coming out, all right, of who the Bible is written for. And who the prophecies pertain to. All right, their prophecies in here pertain to the heathen nations, okay? And and their prophecies pertain to the Israelites. But the main the the the, the main people that this Bible is speaking of is the Israelites. Okay. This is uh Daniel 12 and um four. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. What book? The Bible. The Bible has been sealed for so long. All right. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And that knowledge, okay, uh, uh, um, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, is being increased. All right, through um, through through our apostles and through our elders, unto down un, down unto the brothers that are um, prophesying and laboring in this truth. Okay, and, and you know what, what what people don't get the the people get the misconception of that the Most High changes like okay that was a long time ago the Most High changed his word he ne Most High never changed his word he never changed who the chosen people were okay that's what people are trying to say that the, the kingdom of heaven the uh, uh, salvation is for everyone okay it, it, and it's not the Most High is a, is, is not going to change his mind he, from the beginning he set the order all right the beginning he had the sons of uh, the sons of uh, the wicked which are the Edomites, the sons of uh, of men, which are the heathen nations, and the sons of the Most High, which are your Israelites, all right? And the, how it's going to begin, that's how it's going to end, all right? That's how it's, this thing is going to end with the, 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 the children of the Most High, excuse me, yeah, the children of the Most High, the sons of the Most High, are going to reign in the kingdom forever, okay? Um, let me grab this real quick. Uh, Deuteronomy 4, the fourth chapter. Um, because... If this, if this, if these, these laws, statutes, and commandments, this history was written for everyone. Everyone would have, a, everyone would uh, partake in it. Everyone would take heed to the book. But these heathens, they, they do what the hell they want to do. They eat abominable foods. Okay, they, they do all kind of uh, uh, witchcraft and, and idolatry. That's not of the scriptures. Our people have taken on to these, uh, these heathen customs as unto their own. That's how we got in this position. That's why the Israelites are jacked up to this day. All right, but you have a remnant that's coming back. That remnant that is, um, uh, is waking up. That's being quickened with the spirit and coming back to the knowledge and wisdom and the heritage of this book. All right, that they believe in this book. All right, a lot of our people have, you know, they, they don't believe in the book. They say, oh, a man wrote that book. Uh, 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 who wrote that book has been changed. And these things are true, but the things that we need to receive salvation are still contained in this book. You think the Most High? These niggas like to put the Most High in a book, like. He like he doesn't control man's uh, uh, man's goings are of the Lord that you know that that he could um that 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 the man can destroy his book and change his book all right yes the Most High could 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 make man do whatever the hell he wants all right but the Most High preserved this book for these last days so that the truth could be uh, um manifest this truth could be pushed all right this is Deuteronomy chapter uh, four and verse five behold I have taught you statutes and judgments even as the Lord my power commanded me that ye shall do them in the land whether ye go, ye go to possess it. All right, and those laws, statutes, and commandments are written in this book, all right? It's 613 laws, all right, that that, that the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, are supposed to live your life by. It's supposed to, uh, uh, um, it's, 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 that gives you the proper way to conduct yourself in life, a righteous way. All right, verse 6, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom in, 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 and understanding in the sight of the nations. All right. This is what separates the Israelites from the nations. This book, this law, statutes, and commandments. All right. Which shall hear, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation 
is a wise and understanding people. That's how the nations are supposed to look at us. All right. This, this book is not for everyone. Like I said, if it was, these nations would 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 would, um, would read it and understand it. The scripture says in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one and verse four, um, uh, wisdom won't dwell in malicious spirit. All right. And these these Edomites are, are wicked. All right. These heathens are wicked. They're, they're not they're not righteous. OK, they weren't the chosen. All right. The Most High has always had a chosen. All right. Going all the way back, like I said, to the sons of man, to the sons of man, excuse me, to the sons of the Most High. All right. Uh, it says, keep for and do them. This is your, it's like, yeah, I read that. Verse seven, for what nation is there so great who have the Most High so nigh unto them as, a, as the Lord our power is in all these things that we call upon him for? All right. So the nations are, are, are supposed to look at us like, yes, these are the chosen people. All right. Why are we the chosen people? We have the book. We have the prophecies. We have the, uh, um, you know, we, we have the light. OK, that's how the nation is supposed to look at us. But they're not looking at us because our book has been has been uh, is to a degree has been tarnished by by the, by the Edomites. OK, they, they, they they've they've taken certain things out. They change words. All right. That's why we have to go into the Hebrew and go into the uh, the Greek to get the proper definition of these words. If it was in English. You know, hey, salvation is for everyone, according to um, John uh, 3 and 16. All right. Um, let me grab Ezekiel 2. This is the book of Ezekiel 2. And damn. Uh, uh, I'll start at... Uh, I started at nine, and when I look, behold, this is the uh, prophet Ezekiel speaking. When I look, behold, and a hand was sent unto me, and lo, and a roll of a book was therein, and he spread it before me, and and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentation, mourning, and woe. All right, this is specifically talking about the Israelites. All right, it's not talking about. If you read the scriptures; it's not talking about. The lamentations and, and and the mourning and the uh and the destruction the woe of the heathen nations it is speaking of them in prophecy but it's not talking about you know uh, um them them going you know it's not talking about them going off and calling on the Most High and the conditions it's not it's specific it's specifically speaking of a certain people and that's the Israelites all right the 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 the, the, the curses are 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 written specifically for the Israelites the only people that are under all those curses. All right, till this day are the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, the Edomites aren't under no curses, right? You know, right now at least. All right, they, they're still in their rulership, even though we do see some of these curses coming upon uh, among them, and that was prophesied in Deuteronomy um, 30 and verse 7. Okay, but hey, these Edomites aren't in curses like us. They're not. Uh, uh, um, they're not. They don't have to ask for the one of all things. They don't have to go. Excuse me. Go to uh, 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 anyone for the one of all things. All right, they're in rulership right now. Okay, so this is this, you know, the 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 things in this book are, are not written for them, or right? weren't weren't aren't for them. Like I said, it's exclusive, exclusive to a certain people. Okay, and that and those people are Israelites. All right, the Lord's chosen, who 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 he have who he who he have chosen. All right, you know we can't we didn't choose him, he chose us. Okay, um, this is the book of Psalms. Chapter uh, 132 and verse 13. For the Lord have chosen, read that again, the Lord have chosen Zion. He have desired it for his habitation. All right, the Lord has chosen Zion. Zion uh, 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 represents you Israelites, okay? The Lord didn't choose us. We, the, oh, excuse me, the Lord, we didn't choose the Lord, the Lord chose us, okay? And, and, and the book that, the book that, um, he gave to us as in, as instruction is the Bible, all right, specifically for us. All right, let me get up another script. This is um, back in Second Ezra six, Second Ezra six, um, yes, yeah, six and um, fifty four. And after these, Adam, whom thou hast made us Lord of all creatures. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. There it is, chosen, whom thou hast chosen. 
the people whom also whom thou hast chosen. That's your Israelites. All right. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, the heathens, the Edomites, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that thou, thou they are nothing but like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and devour us. But what but we thy people, whom thou callest thy firstborn, thy only begotten and fervent lover, are given into their hands. So I'm just reading the scriptures to show you there is a, a clear distinction between us and them, Israelites and heathens. All right. Like I said, it, it, in in the Bible, it is is the Bible makes that shit clear, you know, makes it clear as day. You just have to Read the Bible in the spirit, all right? The Holy Spirit has to be dealing in the spirit, all right? The Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you for you to understand that. Let, thus, you know, otherwise, you're going to be, you know, uh, uh, caught out there in Christianity thinking that the Bible is for everyone. Any, anyone anyone can pick up and read the Bible, all right? They can read the words, but they don't understand the words, all right? The spirit of the Lord is not dealing with them for them to truly understand and uh, 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 understand the true context of these words. Let me get another scripture to show you a clear distinction between us and them. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 17. For in the vision of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. That's a clear distinction. Israel is the Lord's por portion. All right. He divided the nations, but Israel is his portion. All right. The Bible is their book. Okay. And, and you know, that that's something that a lot of Jake's, man, they don't want to, uh, it's just crazy because our people are the ones that don't want to come to, to, to grips with that. All right. The heathen nations, if the Bible was for them, they would understand, yo, this is our Bible. This is our book. All right. You know, no, it's not. It's not for you. It's not, you know, it's not for you. You know, it's it's for us. But our people, they want to um, they want to pawn off the Bible and, and, and to, to these other heathens and say they can ex they can be accepted. All right. They, they, they just have to accept uh, Jesus Christ in their life and. That's all BS. That's all nonsense. Okay? But, hey, the, the truth is being declared. The, the truth is coming out. And it's coming directly from our book, our, you know, which is the Bible, which is the Holy Bible. The engrafted word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right? With, which, which um, you know, like I said, the, the, it's, it's being made clearer and clearer day by day as these prophecies come to pass. All right? This is the living waters. All right? It, 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 this... The, these these prophecies are jumping off the page all right you see these prophecies you see you know i can see if this book was written or not written but the the, the book was you know uh no, nothing in the book was come was was coming to fruition all right these prophecies you know you know ha, things have happened and nothing in the book is coming to pass everything in this book has come to pass has already come to pass and is coming to pass you know at, until this day all right, there's prophecies in the Bible that haven't even that, that are going to take place in the kingdom of heaven. That's how powerful this book is. All right, but you can see how powerful it is when it falls into the wrong hands. That like it has like it has happened, and um, this devil Esau has deceived the world through Christianity, through you know rape, robbery, lies, and and, and murder. Okay, so um, Lord willing, this this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise and glory. In honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Habakkuk Radash. Till next time I say Shalom.